Hey, what's up guys? It's Mary Edits. Uh, I'm a filmmaker here in Sacramento, California. Today we're going to be busting down a tutorial on the basic 3D and static shots. All you're going to need is Element 3D, After Effects, and the internet to get the assets. Alright guys, so what I normally do for if I'm just looking for some free 3D assets, I'm looking for basically, in this example, we're looking for the cigarette. So I usually head over here to Turbo Squid and uh, I just type in cigarette head over to the free section I'll leave a link specifically for the cigarette if you want but once you download it you'll download the material files and the basic object sometimes they have different downloads for like different programs and stuff like that but that's not necessarily our interest today all right so once you download your assets make sure to put them in a folder so you don't accidentally delete them or anything like that probably just put them in the same editing folder that you're going for so this is going to be the effect that we're recreating. It's just a static shot. I slightly zoomed in so there is more, it looks like there's more movement, but I literally just set the camera down because I didn't want any movement so we didn't have to worry about tracking or anything like that. That'll be for a later video. All right guys, so the first thing you want to do when it comes to 3D is cut your clip and render it out because if you have any of the other scenes <clears throat> interfering and with the lighting, it's going to completely mess up uh, the effect. Alright guys, so all we're going to do here is add a new solid, you can either right click or layer add new. And then we're going to go ahead and add element to the clip. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do and the reason we rendered out our clip is we're actually going to use our clip for the lighting to make it more realistic so we don't have any problems later. Alright, so once you have your black solid and you've added element to the clip, Basically, you're gonna just highlight the clips, right click, pre-compose, and uh, move all, and bring all attributes over so you don't have to worry about the effects not carrying over or anything like that. All right, now that we have we our second composition, we're gonna go ahead and open up Element and uh, click on Scene Setup. All right, so now that we have our scene setup opened, we're gonna go to over here to the scene area, right click, open up, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click over here and add start adding the textures in one by one they all should be named to basically what they are so we're just gonna scroll through here grab what we need and add them one by one okay so we went through and added a few of these and I think we had some problems with the gold strip the white paper you can actually, if you don't want the, the camel logo, I just didn't show it in this scene, but you can actually go into the PNG on like Photoshop or anything and really just like scratch out the logo or change it to whatever logo you want. That's a, something you could do with like the already made shaders and stuff, so just something to think about. All right, so here we have our cigarette. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is come up here to environment and then the texture channel. You're gonna open up our actual footage and that should be here in our custom layer all right so this is our cigarette we're gonna rotate and get a good look at it uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and face the logo in the back so we don't actually have to see that in the video shot but we're gonna try and get it to generally rotate so but it's it's kind of a dark scene we'll be okay if your objects too dark or anything like that for this scene I think we uh, boosted up the brightness, went through some of the settings and just kind of saw what we could get. There's all these different presets that really like will give you certain looks. See I used the 360 light so it came from all angles. So we used the 360 light and it still came out a bit dark. So we're going to go ahead and brighten it back up again, see what kind of looks we're getting. Alright now here comes the fun part, we're going to go ahead and open up our world transform and uh, figure out where we want to come in here. <clears throat> Alright guys, so what we're going to want to do is open up our world transform here in Element 3D. We're going to go ahead and figure out where we want our cigarette to come in from because we're actually going to make it in this scene. It looks like he's throwing it and then it drops. Did an alright job. I'll let you guys take a look at that. And then, so this is basically what we did for that. All right, so now that we figured out where our clip belongs, we're gonna go ahead and click all the stopwatches and transform and rotation, uh, except for the Z axis. We're not gonna mess with anything like that. And then we're just 
going to basically get started on the rotation. Alright, so we're going to move this up so that our cigarette is out of frame. And then we're going to skip forward a few frames. Alright, we skipped forward a few frames where he's walking away and he's out of the shot. The feet aren't really going to react to the situation. It's just kind of the things you got to think about if you have like interactive scenes like this. We're going to bring our position back down, of course. As we scroll back, we can see that it does come in pretty nicely. Alright, and then so we want our cigarette to like kind of flow back up after instead of it actually hitting the ground. So we're gonna scroll here to the end of our clip and kinda add in a bit of floating rotation. Instead of it actually smacking the ground, I want it to actually float up. It's, so as you can see, the cigarette is coming in pretty smooth. I'm not too worried about it. You can come over here and uh, play with the keyframes, right click, easy ease, see if that helps uh, the smoothness or make it look a little bit more realistic. All right, so we went into Lumentry and we slightly added a little bit of curve here just to give it that little bit of more realism. I just felt like it was still out of place. Couldn't get it right. Up the brightness and now we get it a little bit more realistic here. All right, guys, so that's going to conclude our tutorial. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any other ideas or videos you want to see based on gear, tutorials, whatever, just let me know down below in the comments. And, uh, yeah, you thought I was going to let you go without a like, comment, and subscribe, huh? No, I'm just kidding. This is probably I appreciate you, though. Y'all have a good one.